You take off in this car, I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna make it super easy on you. You put this car in drive, you're getting one white to the chest. That's a Los Angeles Sheriff's deputy threatening to shoot an unarmed black man. I don't care what you got, I don't care if you got bullshit in you, but guess what, bro? Now you gotta deal with it. But if you pull some bullshit, you're gonna take one to the chest. The victim is a rapper named Feezy LeBron. On New Year's Eve, around 6 p.m., he was parked in a friend's private parking lot in Gardena talking on his phone when deputies approached. Hi. Hi, what are you doing? The body camera footage released by the LA Sheriff's Department shows one deputy on the right, spray him, dude. Watch out. while the other threatens to spray the rapper with a chemical if he stays in the car. I'm just gonna spray you. Get out. Get out or you're getting sprayed. Get out or you're getting sprayed. Get out. Then suddenly it escalates. Reach around. You take off in this car, I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna make it super easy on you. You put this car in drive, you're getting one white to the chest. I don't care what you got, I don't care if you got bullshit on you, but guess what, bro? Now you gotta deal with it. But if you pull some bullshit, you're gonna take one to the chest. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you don't listen, you're done. You understand me? Gardiner, Londo, Londo Unit, up in six. You gonna comply or no? Comply with. If you move your hands from right there, you're in trouble. So you gonna shoot me? I'm sitting in the damn car, bro. 14809 Crenshaw. With his hands raised, the rapper asks, why do you wanna shoot me? Damn car. Move your hands from right there, and you're done. Sorry, man. Arrest or what, bro? You, you, got guns you are you, you are most definitely 1,050 percent detained. And if you do if you do anything other than what you're doing right now, then you're gonna have some major consequences to deal with. For what? I'm gonna make it super simple for you. For what? It's already been explained to you. For what? Already been explained to you. Feezy is told if he does not comply, he will be arrested, and his car will be towed. You gonna step out of the car now or no? Am I under arrest? You're detained and you're gonna step out of the vehicle. For what? Right now, if you, ref if you refuse to comply to our commands and our lawful orders as policemen, you're gonna be placed under arrest and you will go to jail and I will tow this car. That's crazy. You gonna comply or no? Because right now you already resisted my partner by, by ripping your hand away. Your partner came and opened my damn door by himself. Okay. At this point, the rapper gets out. Open my damn door. Oh, you know, his finger's tight. You on probation or parole or what? Nope. Alright. Nope. Got it. Thank you. We don't need it. I know, but I don't need the consent. Thank you. Hey, uh, units, come into the uh, weed shop. You can slow your roll. We're good. Thank you. Is your ID on you or no? Or is it in your car? Or is it? I know you said it 50 times. Yeah, I get it. Unfortunately for you, you shouldn't smoke so much weed in your car and then we wouldn't have to search I you. I didn't smoke no weed in my car. I have weed in my car. I didn't smoke no weed in my car. It's not weed. Do you have like anger issues or what? Yes, at the end, the cop asked the rapper if he had anger issues. Well, if you are sitting in a car in a friend's private parking lot and talking on the phone when deputies rush up, open the vehicle doors and point guns at you, I'm fairly certain you might feel some anger and frustration as well. Also, in this case, the deputies never explained why they were after this man. They simply threatened him immediately with pepper spray. Then they threatened to execute him if he refused to comply with all of their demands. Again, Freezy did not have a weapon. He didn't act like he had a weapon. And there was no indication the LA Sheriff's deputies' lives were ever in danger. The courts have long held that force, like pepper spray, a taser, or a weapon, can only be used if somebody's presenting a danger to the cops, bystanders, or themselves. And again, it doesn't appear that anybody's safety was being threatened here. So what was really going on? Parking while black? Parking and sitting in a BMW while black? The Los Angeles Sheriff's Department says it has now begun an internal investigation into the two patrol deputies involved. Quote, Sheriff Robert Luna has made it clear that he expects department personnel to treat all members of the public with dignity and respect, and that personnel who do not uphold our training standards will be held accountable. One can only hope the probe into the actions and language of the two sheriff's deputies will result in those deputies being kicked off the force. Their behavior was outrageous. And to this day, it is still not clear 
why the deputies approached this man. And this is Los Angeles. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.